Hello and welcome to this session in which we will discuss flexible budgeting or flexible budget and specifically we're going to be learning about the activity variances or something called sales volume variances and revenue slash spending variances. Now if we are discussing flexible budgeting well we need to know what is flexible and what is budgeting. Hopefully we know what budgeting is. We learned about budgeting in a prior session. Basically a budget or a budgeting is planning a budget to do what? To run the company. And usually the budget is prepared for a single planned level of activity. So it's a static or one budget. So simply put, we assume the activity is we're going to be selling 100 units or, or we're going to be selling 5,000 units. So one single level of activity. Now, budgets are helpful. And we talked about why budgets are important because it helps you plan. But what happened if the level of activity differ? So you plan to sell 100 units, that's your budget. But you might have sold more, you might have sold 120, or you might have sold 80. What do you have to do if your level of activity differ? This is where the flexible budget comes into place. The flexible budget prepare the budget using various level of activities within the relevant range and the relevant range of the fixed cost or our capacity. So rather than preparing a budget with 100 units, we can prepare with 120, 140, 160, 80, 60, or any number of units sold to determine what would happen to our financial status if the level of activity changes. And this is going to show the cost and revenue that should have been incurred at the actual level of activity. So the flexible budget, we're going to prepare a planning budget, then we can prepare flexible budget. So if the planning budget differ, we can compare that to the flexible budget to show us what we should have have in cost and revenue given that new level of activity. It enables to compare apples to apples. So if you prepare a budget with 500 units, then you sold 600 units, well, you cannot compare these two because they, they differ. Therefore, you have to flex this budget to make it 600 unit. Then you can compare apples to apples. And obviously, we are going to see that in an example. It helps improve performance and help control cost. And that's the whole purpose of budgeting in the first place, is help control. Control means what? Control means know what's happening, plan ahead. So we don't overspend, we don't underspend uh, money. Okay. The best way to illustrate the concept is to work with an example using actual numbers. So we have Adam Loan Service Company provide loan care for senior citizen communities where all loans are approximately the same size. At the end of May, Adam prepared his June budget based on 750 loans. So this is what we expect to do in June. And this is basically the size of the loan and maybe he takes care of the flowers as well. On average, Adam charges $80 per loan. And that's a variable in a sense that if you have more loans, you'll have more revenue. If you have less, you will have less revenue. But we are planning to take care of 750 loans, $80. The wages that Adam pays are mixed. Adam pays $6,000 in fixed wages. Then he has a few individuals that work on an hourly basis and it costs them $30 per loan. So it's a mixed cost, part fixed, and part variable, we have a mixed cost here, the wages. The gasoline is variable, and it's $9 per lawn. This is a variable. The cost for the equipment maintenance is variable, $3 per lawn. And the remainder of his expenses are fixed expenses. So let's take a look first at a static or a planned budget for 750 units. And this is what the budget would look like. This is the number of units. This is a planning budget. The revenue is $80, 750 times $80 will give us 60,000. Again, the revenue would varies with the number of units. Wages are 6,000 plus $30 times the number of units, which will give us wages of 28,500. Again, this cost is mixed. The reason I'm going, whether this cost is mixed, fixed, or variable, that's very important to understand. Gasoline and supplies, it's $9 per lawn, nine times Nine times seven fifty will give us sixty seven fifty. Equipment three dollars per lawn, three dollars times seven fifty will give us twenty two fifty. Office office and shop supplies are a thousand dollar. This is fixed. It means it does not change, it does not vary. Office and shop rent two thousand. This is fixed as well. Equipment depreciation should be fixed. 
and insurance is fixed and the remainder of the cost are fixed based on our budget total expenses are 45 total revenue is 60 we expect operating income or net income to be fifteen thousand dollar for the month of june so this is the budget knowing the various costs that we have now what we're going to do we're going to wait for the month of june and we're going to see what happened then make comparison and study the planning budget versus what actually happened to learn what happened this is the purpose of variances it's a form of a control so we know what why did we did not make enough profit or that why did we incur more or less expenses it tells us about our business but before we look at the example we need to take a look at farhatlectures.com most likely you are a student or a cpa candidate and if that's what you are looking for flexible budgeting learning about this topic go to farhatlectures.com where i do have additional resources multiple choice through false exercises that's going to help you do better on your cpa exam as well as accounting courses if you have not connected with me on linkedin please do so like this recording share it with other connect with me on instagram facebook twitter and reddit now for the month of june these are the actual results okay we planned and these are these are the actual results the first thing i want you to notice is actually we the number of loans we service is seven uh, rather than 750 we serviced 825 you know few other senior citizen communities ask us to do it so we added 75 units okay that's fine our total revenue actual total revenue was 64,500, and those are the actual 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 means this is what actually happens and what actually happens we end up earning a profit of 15,725. our based on the static budget the profit was if you remember was 15,000. so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to compare the planning budget to the actual results okay this is the planning or this is the budget and this is the actual result now we need to interpret this well revenue was a uh, planning budget was 60 our revenue was 64,500. well it's we generated 4,500 of revenues we consider this as favorable okay there's no pluses no minuses in this language it's either favorable or unfavorable how do i know it's favorable if i generate more revenues it's a favorable variance if i if i incur less expenses it's favorable if i incur more expenses it's unfavorable let's take a look at the wages and salaries we budgeted twenty eight thousand five hundred we incurred thirty one thousand two fifty we are two thousand seven hundred and fifty unfavorable now some students they get confused should i deduct actual minus planning or planning minus budget well guess what you need to understand that the actual was greater than the planning there's no pluses or minuses any way you look at it just if the actual is more than the budget and it's for expenses it's unfavorable it's you now you want this to be true for revenue more revenues actual than planning like for revenues here to be favorable so you have to be careful there's not plus and not minus this is not what we are looking at we are looking at whether it's in favorable or unfavorable again gasoline supplies we budgeted 6750 the actual results were seven seven thousand eight hundred it's unfavorable equipment maintenance we budgeted 2250 we incurred 2075 this is favorable because the actual was less than the planning same thing for office and shop shop supplies it was favorable these two are fixed they're not supposed to change and they did not change insurance supposed to be fixed also 2000 for some reason they increase our insurance by 10 percent it was unfavorable now what we do is we add up all the unfavorable and they add up to 37 75 which is basically net them out and the net is 37 75 4500 favorable in revenue 3775 in expenses unfavorable the net is 725 that's fine we looked at the net it's favorable of 725 but this analysis doesn't help us at all what do i mean by this well you are comparing actual to the planning however the level of activity is different here your planning is based on 750 your actual your actual results are based on Eight, I'm sorry, 825, not 828, 825. So what happened is you cannot compare apples to oranges. So what do we need to do? Let's flex the budget. So we're going to prepare 
a flexed budget, and we're going to see what that, what that is, then do the comparison to learn more about the business. Now, nothing wrong with this, except it doesn't tell us much. Why? You're going to see why once we look at the flexible budget. So how to flex the budget? Well, variable cost and variable revenue will change in proportion to the activities and total fixed cost, you know, remain the same, assuming we are working within the relevant range. So now what we're going to do, we're going to prepare a flexible budget. And our flexible budget, it has to be based on the actual number of unit, which is 825. Now we take 825 times 80 will give us 66,000. So what is this, this 66,000? The 66,000 tells us this is how much revenue we should have based on our planning budget in this level of activity. The planning budget is $80 and we we serviced 825 units. Therefore, our total revenue should be 66,000. Same thing with wages and salaries. 6,000 plus $30 times 825. It should be 30,750. And the remainder is the same, except that the fixed cost will stay the same. Fixed cost will stay the same and variable cost will change. Based on the flexible budget, our profit should have been 17,850. So now we looked at the flexible budget. Now it makes more sense to compare the flexible budget to what actually happened, don't you think? Because now we have the same numbers. Yeah, we're gonna look at that in a moment, okay? So this is what should have been according to the budgeted figure. This is the flexible budget. Now, the first variance we are going to compute is called activity variance or sales volume variance, sales volume or activity variance. How do we compute this variance? So here's the formula. You look at your planning budget, which is planning budget of revenues and expenses, and compare it to the flexible budget of revenues and expenses. So this is basically the first thing is the activity or sales variance. So let's take a look at it. Just simply put the flexible budget versus the planning budget. So those are changes, okay? So the difference here is solely due, we are, we are computing the difference, solely due to the changes in quantity in sales volume. So notice the planning budget is 750, the flexible budget is 825. So by comparing those two first, we're gonna know due to volume what are the differences? How do we look at the differences? Well, activity variance, if we look at the difference, is 6,000 favorable for sales. Simply put, because we perform more, we, we, we service more units, more loans, 75 more. Well, our revenue should have been $6,000 more. Wages and salaries. Obviously, all the expenses, the variable, should be unfavorable. Why? Because if you perform more, generally speaking, if you perform more and your expense is variable, you, ha you should have more expenses. So notice they are all unfavorable. And this should make sense. The fixed, they should stay the same when we are performing this computation. Overall, from the volume activity, we can see that expenses are unfavorable, which they should be unfavorable. And... When we net the favorable of revenues due to the quantity, due to the increase in sales volume and the expenses, overall we have a favorable volume variance or sales volume or activity variance of 2,850. Again, this variance has to do with the volume. This is why it's called the activity or sales volume or sales activity, okay? So just due to changes. And notice, to remember this, look, do we have we have a different number of units, 750 versus 825. So the change has to do with activity alone. Now we could also compute revenue and spending variance. Now the revenues and spending variance, this is where we are really compu computing uh, the analysis apples to apples. We're going to look at actual revenue, which was for 850 units compare this to the flexible budget revenue which is 850 and the difference between them is called revenue variance we're going to do the same thing with the expenses call them spending variances we're going to look at the actual cost which is 850 versus the flexible budget of 850 
and let's take a look at them and see how much we can learn about those now a25 a25 actual results flexible budget revenue the actual revenue was 66,500 the flexible revenue based on this activity should have been 66,000 well guess what we really did not do a good job our revenue was unfavorable our revenue was unfavorable why could be many reasons it could be those 75 new loans that we got we charged them less than 80 dollars maybe we charged some of them 70 some of them 65 so as a result our revenue end up to be our revenue end up to be unfavorable it should have been 66,000 if we charge everyone 80 dollars it was 66. it could be we wanted to earn their goodwill earn their business that's why we lowered the price it could be i'm not sure but we have to look at why maybe those new loans we shouldn't have serviced them because they're gonna you know take time from us and we can do something else and get loans that could charge us 80 dollars i'm not sure but something we need to look into why didn't you charge 80 dollars okay so notice from a volume yes you did more work but you did not charge them 80 dollars more work yes more quantity is it the same price no so you have to make a decision about what you want to do next month wages and salaries the actual was 31,250 the flexible should have been 30,750 it should have cost you based on our formula 30,750 if you service 8 825 which is 6,000 plus 825 times 30 which is the formula here it cost us 31,250 somehow we spent an additional $500 why maybe we had to hire one or two employees to help extra and we had to pay them $500 maybe those 75 lawns we did not budget for them and now they came we had to hire more people or pay overtime we need to find out but it should it cost us $500 more gasoline based on our gasoline it should be 7425 it cost us 7800 again unfavorable well what that what could be the case here well gas prices went up there's nothing we can do we estimated it to be nine dollars for each loan gas prices went up and this is happening these days so you have no you have no control over this equipment maintenance based on our formula three dollars per loan it should be 2475 we only spent 2075 well at face value this looked favorable because we did not spend as much as we should have given the number of loans we we serviced however we could have also deferred the equipment maintenance we did not do any maintenance which is bad because this is going to increase the repair next month but we, we're not sure but we need to know why we did more work and the maintenance cost is lower because usually the maintenance cost the more work you do the more you have to maintain those equipments office and shop utilities we budgeted a thousand and we only incur actual resorts with 950 based on 825 this is favorable but we need to know why it's a small amount office rent office and shop rent was the same depreciation was the same insurance was unfavorable 200 our insurance went up by 10 percent 200 just an increase in the premium next month we start to budget 2200 but for this month it's unfavorable now we compute we take all the expense the cost and it was total expenses 625 unfavorable and the revenue variance was unfavorable so the spending and the revenue was unfavorable the total unfavorable is 2150 but this unfavorable is based on now comparing apples to apples 825 825 unit versus 825 unit so this is revenue this is how we compute the revenue and the spending variance to compute them you have to have the same number of unit when you compute the activity variance well the activity variance is different you have to have them different because based on the activity sales volume you're not done yet the best way is to put them together side by side this this is the actual results these are the planning results this is what we did in the planning this is the budget this is the budget this is what we did first then we got the results too then we prepared a flexible budget the difference between the flexible budget and the planning budget notice 825 versus 750 is what we called activity or sales volume and notice it was favorable it should be favorable because we did more work but it wasn't as favorable as we thought but it was it was favorable we did more work
from the activity variance perspective. When you look from the, when we compare actual results, the flexible budget, when we compare those two, which is 825 and 825, it was unfavorable 21, 21, 25. Now, obviously, you can net them out. And I believe the difference is what you saw earlier, um, 750. I'll, I'll show, I will go back and show you the difference. 2850 minus 2125. And the difference is actually 725. Let's do it again. 2850 minus 2125. It's 725. The difference is favorable of 725. Now we know it's favorable overall, but from an activity variance, just because we did more work, we would not do a good job controlling cost and generating revenue. And where did we see the 725 again? Let me go back and show you the first comparison we did. You remember 725? But now we understand why it was 725. I would not be very happy with this result. If I'm in charge of this company, if, if this is my company, I'm not happy with the results. I did more work, but I did not make the profit that I should have made. I only made additional profit of 725 and I did more work. Okay, so notice here, I mean, another way to look at it is basically sales went up by 10%. Sales went up. We went from, it should have went up by 10%. Went from six, we should go from 60 to 66,000. Well, the profit did not go up by that much. So I'm not happy with these results. Nevertheless, I learned again, it could be because we, 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 it could be because we took those additional jobs just to kind of gain their, maybe we give them a discount the first month. If that's the case, that's fine. But this is what budgeting is all about. Tell me what's going to happen. What should you do now? Go to Farhat Lectures and work MCQs, true, false, invest in yourself. You need to learn this. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.